seconds, Centaur tanks will be stable at flight pressures, and a final propellant status check is conducted at T minus 25 seconds. T-minus three minutes. Securing Atlas LO2. Atlas tanks to flight pressure. FTS internal. Launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, range and weather are all in a go status. T0 again is 9.03 and 30 seconds Pacific Daylight Time. Once the vehicle lifts off, it will, it will take 89 seconds to reach Mach 1 or the speed of sound. Sequencer start. 150. Securing Centaur LH2. Securing Centaur LO2. 140. Launch enabled. 37. FTS armed. One twenty five. Report range status. Range is green. Roger. 120. Mark is armed. FCS count started. 115. Reduce ECS for launch. Roger. 110. Vent valves locked. Stable at step three. Thirty. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. Twenty-five. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Twenty. Fifteen. This is Atlas Mission Control at T minus ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Atlas engine ignition, zero, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the NRO L-41 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. And you're now hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing the launch vehicle ascent data. Let's listen in for mission progress. Pitch program is in. Flight disturbances look good. Continuing to operate the main engine at 100% thrust. Everything looking good. Next mark event we're looking for is coming up in closed loop control on Atlas PU. Vehicle is steering as expected. And closed loop control on PU. And we're 
approach the end of our roll program. Roll program is complete. Engine continues to operate normally. Mach 1, and coming through max Q, everything is looking good. And we've throttled down to 95% thrust as expected. And everything continues to operate nominally. Vehicle's now 12 miles in altitude, one mile down range, traveling at 1,260 miles per hour. Engine continues to operate normally. Passing two minutes into the flight, everything looks good. Seeing normal activity on booster PU. As far, our telemetry data has been very clean. And the vehicle is now 50% of its liftoff weight. Next mark event we are looking for is firing the pyro valve to activate the reaction control system. And mark event's coming up in five seconds. And we have fired the pyro valve, pressurizing the system. Everything looks good. Next mark event we are looking for. Approximately 10 seconds is throttling down to 2.5 Gs for payload fairing jettison. Our CS system has come to full pressure. We are now throttled down, maintaining 2.5 Gs. Coming up on fairing set in approximately 25 seconds. And flight control system is controlling a 2.5 G acceleration just fine. Steering disturbances look good. Ten seconds, fairing set. We have our format change. We've had fairing separation. CLFR deck has just jettisoned. The vehicle continues to operate normally. We've now throttled back up to 79% thrust. And vehicle is now 25% of its liftoff weight. This is Atlas Mission Control at uh, L plus 3 minutes, 57 seconds into the flight. And uh, as you just seen, we've had the successful liftoff of the uh, AV-25 L-41 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. The vehicle is performing as expected and continuing downrange. Uh, so we've had a, an excellent liftoff. Uh, the vehicle is... Uh, um, functioning as we expected, and uh, we had a liftoff at 9.03 and 30 seconds Pacific Daylight Time, slightly delayed just due to a range issue. I'd like to thank Rob Gannon for his support of today's Atlas Launch broadcast, and at the request of our customer, we'll now conclude our live launch broadcast of this launch.